there's a storm. Yeah, coming from the west, which is the back of our property. It's the west side. And you can hear things moving already. Let's see if I can show you the ducks. Those are in the mud because they love that. Kind of keeping an eye on them because they started all laying at the same time. And I don't want ducklings this year. So I need to make sure that they're not making a nest somewhere and then laying during the day when I let them out. The only problem is that they used to stick together and now they don't. You can see under the bridge. There's two of them. There's another one over there. And yeah, they're not that far away from each other, but they usually stick together like really close together. Oh, I love when they're cleaning themselves, getting ready to go to bed. That's what they do. They clean all the feathers. They make them waterproof. And it's really important that they do. Because if they don't do this, what happens is they get wet. Can you see how the water is rolling off the, her back? If you don't do this, then they get sick. We had a case like that last winter when they were not going to the creek. Let me tell you, these are the happiest ducks alive. They really don't know that they are farm ducks. Clara's like, what are we talking about? We're talking about me? You're just like your mom. A needy little boy. This boy is very interesting because since he was born, it's he doesn't have like their hair. If you see Clarita, she has that hair, regular hair. He has, he's almost like a sheep. It seems like it's some kind of wool. So he's gonna get a bath and a good brush and then he's gonna be weathered soon. So that's gonna happen the day that he's gonna get weathered. I usually, part of the process is I um, give them a bath. Uh, then I dry them very well. Oh my goodness, everything is flying. And then I weather them because then they can have a bath until they lose. Are you eating my sunglasses, Blondie? Don't do that. Aw, thing. And compare Clarita to that little girl, Evie. Yeah, no. Oh, Blondie? It's like, that's my sister. I'm so proud of Gaia for raising these two kids. They're the biggest, they're the strongest, they're the smartest, for sure. More resourceful. And despite the fact that they never really had to spend any time inside or be on the bottle because, you know, other than that first night when she was in shock, they are so friendly. So I'm very proud of there Gaia. She is, Gaia. Eating. That's not to say that Briere is not doing a good job. Briere is doing an awesome job with Dom Jr. and her little black boy. She really is. But Gaia, look at Clarita. She's gonna <laughs> pretend that she's eating and then all of a sudden she's gonna be trying to nurse from Gaia. This year, moms are moms. It doesn't matter whose they are. Uh, but the thing about Gaia is that Gaia, soon enough, she will be our herd queen. Um, she, I'm sure she's going to eventually do it. Right now is Annabelle, but as years pass, I can only see Gaia taking over. Uh, she's strong, she's independent, she's, um, she's a fighter if she needs to be, but she's also very much a leader. Um, 
she's the first one every time that we bring trees to kind of not only eat it but show the babies how they should be eating can you see how they clean that branch completely off the bark and she teaches them not only what they need to be doing but how they need to do it and it's only by her example but look at clarita she's like oh a teat nope gaia said you are my auntie actually over there is clara and mocha and her kids and i am very proud of her too see there she comes she's like oh wait pee break pee break grammy okay love you can come right after oh no doing that to brothers She's like hi grammy i was coming to talk to you grandmama Are you coming or not? She's like, or not? Oh, she's coming. Wait, she's taking her time. Hi, well, hello, my beautiful grandchild. Hi, you're a good woman. Hello, good woman. Hello, good woman. Oh, you're so cute, too. You look even cuter against the moss. Hello. Hello, Clara. Evie. Yes, you. You're Evie. My sweetest and naughtiest child. You too. And you too. And where's Kelly? She's our gentle giant, so she's usually sleeping. Let's go find Kelly. Find Kelly. <laughs> there goes Evie. And that's Kelly. That's Shamose with the blue eyes. She rather sleep while everyone else plays. Oh, Kelly. You're such a gentle giant and she's really a giant. Hi. Not you guys. Then a shot Jackala Mama. Would you guys stop? Can you guys stop? Gaya, you are very big to be so mimosa. I want to give you a kiss. You are very big to give you a kiss. Here is the other one. My favorite girl. Hello, my favorite girl. Can you not? Guys, I cannot do this. Hi, Ma. Hi, Danny. Hello. Hello, my sweet Coli. You're a sweet Coli. Hi, Danny. Mm, you're a good woman. Like, what? I'm not a woman. You're so pretty. You're very pretty. Again, trying to nurse Queen Clara, who will eventually let her. Look at her, she's bigger than her brother. Another thing why I want to keep that little girl is because I like Gaia's adder um, the most compared to Briere, her sister. Her adder is way better. And now that she is six weeks freshen, her adder is taking even, even a better shape. Of course, she's gonna poop for us. Uh, right now, she is empty, like, but you can see the medial ligament, how it's taking shape, the placement of her teeth, it's getting better, like, they're now pointing outwards. So, 
I really do like as a first freshener. I don't think I like Annabelle's and Mocha's other as much as I like Gaia's. So that should tell you something. Um, Gaia had a bigger udder. And that's her little girl. Our little girl. Evie. And so goats are eating my hair. So if you're hearing chewing, that's what it is. And I always like Gaia's confirmation better than Briere's. Gaia was always bigger than Briere's. Um, than Briere. When she was born, Gaia was the biggest and the strongest and the widest, always been the widest. <sighs> She's more deep body than Briere. So I think Evie is meant to stay because her mom as a first freshener has a lot of the things that I'm looking for. Um, you know, even my older dose. So. What I'm not looking for her uh, forward to is her teaching her kids how to open the gate. Just he's chewing my hair. He's chewing. <laughs> I was thinking that there was something wrong with the theme. Cause she's been staring at this wall right here and looking pretty sad then she started chewing the cod and that made me feel better um, but then I realized that she's just in a bad mood look that's what she's doing and the wind is picking up now